Okay, so third video. This is going to be the nose bridge and making the front of the head panel. So you need your nose bridge piece and your two face sides. So basically, first step with your nose bridge. I'm just going to put my pattern piece away because if I don't, I lose them and I get rid of myself. So with your nose bridge, you're going to fold it in half and sew the small dart, which is that teeny tiny little dart there. And it says one to two millimetre. So like on the This is a spot where hand stitching I hardly showed you that did I? It's literally that bit there. Hardly anything at all. It's literally one to two millimetres, teeny tiny stitching line. So then you're going to pin these and sew them to your head sides. This, I mean, pin this to your head sides. So where have I got my head sides? So, unpin those. So when it's finished, this dart, you want all the same sides together now because that's giving yourself a right and a wrong. It's going to join up with that and that and make your head sides. I just took that off the pattern piece, didn't I? So all that has is a line on that bit there which shows the line that matches on this bit here. There's my chalk pen. I'm going to put these chalk markings on the right side. And then these need a marking. There and because they're mirrored, mirrored pieces. Folds on the top and the curves on the bottom. So that right side piece goes with that right side piece. Um. Two seconds, my angel. Oh. I'm going to spider my lap and check you out. My shoulders Because it's a little bit small for you now. Yeah. That means you've grown. Of course you are. You're seven now, aren't you? Yeah, I grew up on a little every, every month. My birthday, do I? Yep. Grew up every year. Well, let me do this a minute, my angel. Okay, so that's those two pieces sewn to your nose bridge looks just like it does in the book and the next bit is sewing this 
to the bit we've just done, which is the bit with the furry mane. <laughs> so we've got to make sure we keep, oh my God, how cute did this turn out? That's obviously the front. That's the back. It's so soft and lovely. Okay, so. Now is it? Smoothing the main fur backwards, find the middle point of the back of the head and match the centre of the front head panel with the right sides together. Continue to match all the way around, tucking the bulk of the back head panel as you go until the neck edges meet. So with a half a centimetre seam allowance, tend to start at the centre front position. So one side, then start again to do the other. That makes sense. So is it... Is it? Oh. That piece up, that's what I'm thinking. I think it must be. So it makes sense, I believe. Or not. Can yes, you can, my darling. So the curves are downward. Taking the muzzle. I'm not too sure if I got it the right way around. So when it's all out like that. If it isn't, um, we'll be um, unpicking, I guess, won't we? I'm just going to make sure all that is facing back in the correct direction. You sound very busy, Ethan. Well, those seams there match up, so it's feeling like this is the right way. But it doesn't match all the way down. Yes, it does. It. I'm going to have to repin that top bit in a minute. This bit here. See what this side does. Let's really smooth this back and get okay. So, provided I have got this on the right way around, let me show you. I don't like unpicking this fabric. So, when you put it forward, that's going to make the curve of the front. That would make sense. Okay, so I'm going to go this, keeping my stitches short, like they have been up until now. A little bit of fiddling. I 
thing I will say is when you're moving a felt around like that, if your needle's in the down position, be careful you don't move the fabric too much. And then move the position because it might come down, hit your needle plate, and then bend and break and make it so if I was to pull on it now, I might move the needle position. Let's speak from experience. Okay. Let's have a look. If I have to unpick this, I'm going to be really unhappy with myself. I don't think I will though. So when we unpop it all, that looks like a head to me with a curve. So nose, throat, ears sticking up. That is cute. I love the effect of the fur. That is so clever. He's a gorgeous little character, this one. So it says on the um, Facebook page that Soul is the light coloured one and Sydney and Sydney and Stanley are the dark coloured ones. Which one do I like best, Sydney or Stanley? I think I might have a Sydney. I think I might have a Sydney here. Okay. So I'm going to finish this video here and then I'm going to do the shaping of the muzzle video which is using this muzzle piece. Now I've only marked one half of the markings on so I'll finish marking them off and then I'll start the next video. So I'll see you for that one. Thank you very much. Bye.